Hello and welcome to this tutorial about separating STL files into multiple pieces. I am King Rawl. Uh, I will be using Blender. Uh, if you do not have Blender, it's free. You can go to www.blender.org. Uh, download link is on the right and choose the platform that you are using. I am using Blender 2.66 Alpha. I use the Maya settings interface because that's how I learned uh, to get these. Go to user preferences, go to input Maya and presets Maya. At this time I need to import STL file. I will be using the blank embosser file. This is a toilet paper embossing tool. And you're probably wondering why do I want to separate all this into individuals? Well, if you want to make each individual part a different color and print one at a time uh, it's a good way to do that and also that way if something messes up during your print you don't mess up on all the parts so you can print each one individually so to get started well, brief word on navigation. You can use the translate tool to move your object in the Y, X, or Z directions. The shortcut. For the translate is W, uh, for rotate is E, and for scale is R. Now for scale I can either scale in each axis or all at the same time. Uh, in order to rotate my view around the object, I'm holding Alt, left click, and drag the mouse. In order to move my view around without rotating around the object, I hold down Alt, middle mouse button, and drag my cursor. And to zoom, my view is hold Alt, right mouse button, and drag your cursor to the left or right. I can also zoom using the mouse wheel. Alright, to separate this out, we will need to translate between edit mode and object mode. Shortcut key for that is tab. Now I want to deselect everything, so just click over here. I'm going to hover my cursor over one of the objects and press L. That will highlight everything that is attached to that object. Now this is the one that I want to keep, so I'll press A for all, and I want to invert my selection. 
X on the keyboard to delete. I will delete those faces. Tab back into object mode. So I'm only left with the singular object. Now this one export as an STL. I'll save it on my desktop as embosser barrel. To get everything back on the screen, all I have to do is hold down control and press Z to undo my last action. And I shall repeat the steps for each remaining part. Call this gear one. Now I called that gear one. I can I can print two of these barrels because they're exactly the same. I can print two of these shafts because they're all the same. And I only need to print one of each or uh, export the file as only one of each of these dowel pins. But these two gears need to be separated from the actual object. If you can look carefully, this one is slightly rotated. So if I wanted to line these up, they're not exactly the same. And this is important in making sure that these two barrels are not going to be uh, offset from each other whenever you go to make your uh, embossed parts. Will be exported as STL Gear Two. I hope this tutorial has been a help for you in separating out objects from a plate. So that you don't have to constantly request that multiple files be submitted for everybody's objects. Thank you for watching.